Hello, my name is Amy Ecker. Welcome to my channel. So y'all know that I'm a boxy charm freak, nut, subscriber, loyalist, etc. So today I created this eye look using items from the boxy charm along with my cheek. So we're gonna go through this month's subscription and see what we got. So this month's subscription is called Vacation. Who doesn't need a vacation or a vacation? Sign me up. So on in this list is some wonderful things for our vacation. And we have South Main. So South Main has some under eye gels. You're gonna uh, uh, put these under your eye. You're gonna thoroughly cleans, cleans. You're going to thoroughly cleans. I don't know what accent that was, but it just came out. You're not gonna cleans, you're gonna cleanse. Uh, thoroughly cleanse the eye area. Apply this product underneath the eye. Leave on for 30 minutes to reduce puffiness and dark circles. Now I don't have puffiness. Do I have puffiness? I don't have dark circles, but I'm still excited about trying these under eye gels. It says use promptly after opening. Um, best is to use these three days three consecutive days in a row. So um, it's supposed to reduce puffiness, reduce dark circles, and moisturize the eye area. I'm all good with moisturizing the eye area. What can I say? So then I ended up, oh, let me back up, let me back up. So the South Main Beauty under eye gels are $10, so that's really reasonable. Not bad at all. Then we have the Pretty Vulgar this is make them blush hush blush so absolutely this is like my color i i think this color works well on me you may disagree i don't know but um i do like this color it does have fallout and it's extremely pigmented so you're gonna see in a little bit that i put it on and i was like ah i actually had to get my powder brush and and blend it down so this color would be good for all skin colors because it is so pigmented it's gonna it's gonna look great on everyone um it's pigmented and it can be built up it is already dark I, like i said i had to soften mine up a bit a lot of bit, and you're gonna see that so this is the first time i've ever used a pretty vulgar blush and i am totally thrilled so this is fantastic very excited about that i was actually hoping that i would get that that retails for 26 dollars then we're going to go with the smoky eye makeup brush set this retails for 23 dollars and 15 cents not sure where the 15 cent comes in but you know every cent counts right so these come in a step by step and i think this is fantastic for that reason is that it kind of tells you what you need to do step one for the money so use your shadow brush to sweep a light uh, shimmery color all over your lids and then you have step two for the shadow again this is so cute pack a darker color on the angled shadow brush and work into the creases of your eyelid and outer corners and then we have step three go girl go and this is a smudger brush that can be can use to bitty 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 this brush can be used to blend the two shades together and alternatively use an even darker color to accentuate the crease and add color below your lash line. These are actually my favorite for doing below the lash line. I did not use these today, as you can see, because they're nice and clean. Um, I'm actually, I love keeping these in my purse, so I will put these right back in the box. And because they are slightly shorter than um, another brush or regular brushes they just that little bit of room just works great so I can slide these back in the box and I can put them in my purse and carry them with me that way if I have to touch up my eyeshadow through the day I can I always keep a little little tiny eyeshadow palette with me with a lot of neutral colors since I typically go with neutrals that stays in my little makeup bag and those brushes fit fantastic so very excited to have those brushes because again I like if I've got to touch up during the day, I want to be able to touch up. Okay, and those brushes, I did mention 2315. So then we went to the Pure, the 
Complexion Authority Palette. This normally retails for $36. This transition palette can be used now or later to bring vibrancy back in your look. It has signature silky smooth ultra mattes paired with pretty pinks and vibrant blue to lighten the mood. Plus you can layer the shimmery shades for a duochrome finish. So what I did today was do a duochrome finish. Um, blues typically seem to be kind of picking up in this year's um, color scheme. In fact, I just did another video that had a, a, a similar color and I had used that in another video. So I wanted to try with another subscription. So when I got this palette, I saw that they had a similar blue. Well, since I had already used that in another video, I wanted to maybe try something different. So I was concerned when I first looked at this palette because even though it's cruelty free, gluten free, talc free, vegan free, um, I saw that it was made in China. Typically, eyeshadows that are made in China make my eyes go crazy. I don't know why. Um, anything made stateside, I don't have as big of a problem with, but my eyes are just really sensitive. So, I was, once I read that, I was like, oh God, am I going to have trouble with this palette? Is my eyes going to start watering or itching? And holy crud, it did not. Um, so, I, I got lucky. I got lucky or this palette, whoever their manufacturer is, really did a jam up job because again, I have trouble with things made across seas. This went on great. So I used, um, this was my all over color. Then I used that for a bit of the transition. I darkened up with this color. Um, I took this brown. This brown is the freaking jam. Like, I, I need a million of these because that brown just went on amazing. It does build up, so if you want a lighter brown, great, but you know me, I love my dark eyes, so I built that up a bit. And then I use this color here, which is called Alliance, and that is what you see right here. I did a little kind of cut crease to the look and um, use this lovely color here. There is fallout on this palette, so I did, because I do have issues with things typically manufactured outside the States, I went ahead and made sure that I banged my brush extra hard because I can't take the chance of that getting in my eye and starting a mess. So anyways, I actually had planned on picking up this black and using that a little bit, but as I built up this brown, I was like, who needs the black? This brown is the jam. I love this brown. Okay, I need to shut up, but I love this brown. That is an amazing brown. You don't find amazing browns that well. So then our last bit in this box was the Butter London Double Decker Lashes Mascara. So did the Double Decker get Ecker's approval? Oh heck yes it did. I do not have false eyelashes on right now. so. Ooh, how pretty. But no, I did not use this. Um, I did not put on false eyelashes. And as I did the mascara, which you'll see in a little bit, I did one eye. Um, I showed you close-ups, first coat, then I applied a second, sec close-up of a second coat, and then I, I did a third. And so I really didn't need anything um, above a third probably didn't even need the third coat, but I wanted you guys to see what my eyelashes look like without any mascara and then when it was built up with this. So it did have a lot of claims. It says to get 200% thicker lashes in just one coat and 314% increase in lash curl. The interlocking nylon fiber brush grasps each individual lash to lengthen, curl, and multiply lashes from root to tip. I will say that when I put on the first coat, I definitely could see that um, it was lengthening and you're going to see that in the video also. So um, strap yourself in, get ready for um, a makeup tutorial. For the things that I did not get in BoxyCharm and I used today, I went ahead and let you know what those were just so you could um, understand what I had on my face. But I, okay, so... I, I don't know which one is my favorite, to tell you the truth. I love the brown and that eyeshadow. The, the blush was my jam, but then I look at the double decker, and this was $20. So the 
the subscription as a whole is $21 and we got 56, 76, 86, 89, 15, um, 109. We basically got a hundred and fifteen dollars and fifteen cents worth of products for twenty-one dollars. I mean, for this would have been almost the price of the subscription. So once again, I just love this subscription. I really liked the four out of five products I've used so far. I did not get a chance to use the under eye bit, but I plan on doing that. And they gave a Butter London 25% off your next $50 purchase at butterlondon.com and you use the code CHARM25 at checkout. So I might be using the CHARM25 at checkout and buy three more of these babies so I have them backed up. I think that it does really good against the Marc Jacobs mascara and that one's been like, I've, I've been hooked on that. I've, I haven't bought anything else unless it's been given to me for free. I love Marc Jacobs, so it is the bomb. But Double Decker is now like giving Marc a run for his money. So Marc, you better watch out because Butter of London, Butter of London is on your tail or on your butt from Butter of London. So anyways, hope you guys enjoy this video. Get ready because here we go. So now we're going to get into using the BoxyCharm colors. I went ahead and did my lips. This color is for MAC and it's called I'm Glistening. It's a frost. And then I went ahead and used a lip topper from Jouer called Saint Tropez. So that's my lips. Um, Makeup Geek is my contour. And now we're going to get into using the Pretty Bulgur Make Them Blush. This is um, Hush Blush number 18. And it came in the BoxyCharm subscription. So super pumped about that. I just love BoxyCharm. So let's see how, and I really like this color to be honest with you. Um, I think it's really pretty. So let's see if it looks really pretty on. Now if it doesn't look really pretty on, don't judge pretty vulgar. That is just a stunning color to me. Oh, oops. I went, oh, I, oh, I got a lot on. That is pigmented. So, holy crud. We're gonna need to tone that down a little bit. So I'm just taking my normal powder brush. Now that looks a lot better. So be careful y'all, because this is pigmented. All right, I am gonna go ahead and put a highlighter on. This did not come in the BoxyCharm box, but it is the Nic Nicole Guerrero from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm going to use this color here, Glow Getter. We're going to get our glow on. Okay, now back to the BoxyCharm box. We did get three makeup brushes. They are not as long as a traditional makeup brush, just a little shorter. So I actually keep these for my purse. So um, we did get a, it shows step one for the money, two for the shadow, Let's see what this one says. And three, step three, go girl. So I'll actually keep those in the box and I put these in my purse so that, I usually carry a lot of minis in my purse. Like I got the mini chocolate um, palette, the little tiny one. And because I do use a lot of neutrals, I keep that in my purse. So I keep a lot of minis. This will just throw, I'll throw in my purse. And then I have eyeshadow brushes that fit in my purse that I can use. So I really do like the, the smaller brushes for that reason. So that I have an opportunity to um, fix my makeup during the day. So love those tiny brushes. 
Now we are going to get into the eyeshadow palette from Pure Cosmetics. It also has the name BoxyCharm. It's cruelty free, gluten free, talent free, vegan friendly. Vegan friendly, sorry. Um, this is from the ATL, Atlanta, Georgia. It's made in China. Okay, that could be problematic for my eyes. Um, so we're gonna see, that means I'm gonna have to be extra gentle with this palette because products, um, eyeshadows out of China typically do not like me. And this one does have some fallout. Not sure that you can see that. We're gonna start with the color Perfect. And that's just gonna go all over the eye and it's going to be our new little canvas color. Okay, next we're going to get into Nakey, which is this color here. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this color Bell and try to deepen that crease color a little bit more. Then I'm gonna pick up the color Duet. And in all honesty, I am digging this brown. I'm gonna pick back up the color Bell. And then I'm gonna go back with that color Duet. Using a fluffy brush, a clean fluffy brush. Using a clean fluffy brush, I'm going ahead and kind of muting that and blending. But again, I really like this brown. Like, I love this brown. This brown is my jam. Just saying. I'm going to use the soft ochre paint pot. So hoping this flat brush was a little more stiff. It's not, but we'll we'll work with it. We'll work with it. I'm gonna take kind of this flat but fluffier brush. And we are gonna pick up the color here called Alliance. Picking back up the brown that I used, which was Duet, I'm just going to kind of take that right along that line and blend those two together. I'm going to pick up the Marc Jacobs. This is in the color Earthquake. Did not come from BoxyCharm. Then on a bit of a pencil brush. You got it. I'm picking up some Duet. Okay, I'm gonna pull, pick up my Maybelline Ultra Liner, not from BoxyCharm. Okay, now we're going back to BoxyCharm. So this is the Double Decker Lash Mascara from Butter. So let's see if Butter is better. I already like that it says 200% thickening, thicker lashes and 314% increase in lash curl. That's a lot of statements to, those are some big shoes to fill. Some big stilettos, like six inch stilettos to fill. So we're gonna see, does this work? All right, double decker. We're gonna put some double decker on Ecker's lashes. Okay, that's the first, first coat. That's pretty impressive as far as length goes. They're not really, it's not really thick, 
but it did help the length. So yeah, I'm gonna zoom in so you can see the difference in one coat. So here is one coat and this is no coats. So definitely a difference. So there we have two coats. I get in the middle. <laughs> so that's two coats using the double decker lashes that is now Ecker approved. And that's a big deal, right? That's a big deal. All right, we're gonna go for three coats just for fun because why not? We can. Okay, so this is three coats. We're not doing more than that. Okay, I'm gonna finish the look off with using the Overnight with Marc Jacobs. And this is going on the inner waterline. And that's gonna complete this look. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair and um, Thank you so much for you know watching this month's boxy charm for March of 2018. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, what's holding you back? Please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice, so make it a great one. Until next time.